Morning, everybody. Working on a project with the engineering team and we came up with a pretty good improvement and I wanna share that with you. One of the things that we struggle with as a company is doing revisions to engineering products. We build a lot of product repetition. We build it, we just ship it, we sell it, right? Easy. Um, what we run into is if we wanna make an adjustment to a product and we have inventory, we have two options. We throw the inventory away, which is an ideal, or we wait till the inventory runs out and then we make the change. The change could be a production change, it could be a design change, a couple different things. Now that we're using a Kanban system, we found out we found a way that we can flag our products so that we can make those adjustments. Um, the other issue we run into is when we wanna discontinue a part, a lot of times we just go ahead and throw the stuff away. It's easier to just get it done and get it out of the way. So we've also been able to incorporate that into this improvement as well. So let me put my camera around, I'll show you what we came up with. We have this sticker here that says notice. When Kanban has colored sticker and inventory is zero, red means discontinued, yellow means revised, and revisions complete is green. So we have these stickers that now we can put right onto our Kanban card. And then when this Kanban card gets returned for production, we now have discontinue, revisions need to be made, and then this green actually comes after the engineers do the job. So after the engineers update the product, they'll put a green sticker on here and then put that card into the production Kanban receptacle. And then when Bryce gets this card, he knows that he needs to update the drawings before he cuts the part and then he can peel the sticker off. One of the other things that we struggle with is we may say there's a revision, but we forget to save the file in the right folder. So we're actually gonna write the date onto these stickers. So when Bryce gets it in the back, it'll say, you know, 1029 on here, and he'll look at that date and he'll match it to the file in the folder and make sure it matches. And if it doesn't match, he knows that at that point, the file wasn't saved correctly, and he knows he can just get a hold of the engineering department and get it done. So we're just kind of building some triggers into our Kanban system, and uh, it's pretty rad. This particular Kanban right here, we're actually going to discontinue. So what I did was I wrote on here, as you can see, I put a date on a red sticker. And I'm just gonna peel this red sticker off of here. And then I'm gonna stick it right over the quantities right here. So now when this Kanban is up on the wall and it's time for it to get remade, we know it's time to just discontinue this part. Another part of the sticker that I didn't talk about was this report issues. So what we're using is a Google Doc that allows us to collect the information we need what the revision is, because we're really just kind of going to count that revision. So it's who who's reporting it, what the date is, and what the revision needs to be. And then that goes into a spreadsheet that the engineers are working through, and then they can make some updates. Here's where our Kanbans are in the shipping department. You can see we have a yellow sticker from yesterday. This one needs a revision. Right up here, we have a red sticker. This is going to get discontinued. Got a couple more, and then it'll be gone. As with most lean things, you're kind of borrowing ideas from other places. I did see something very similar in another video doing a shop tour on AME. And so that's kind of where I got the idea. Pitched it to the engineering team and we kind of brainstormed and kind of made it our own. And that's super cool. I love the creative thinking and we're solving a problem that is a hassle. So anyways, hope everyone has a great week.